Sherry Jackson is one of the extremely few Hollywood stars who actively started their journey in Hollywood from childhood and never died down. In Sherry's case, her career in acting began at the tender age of seven, and she only got better with time. However, there are several shocking events that occurred behind the scenes of her life that you might be interested in. So this video is going to reveal some unusual facts about the 1960s TV icon that you probably don't know. Hey, before we get into the video, I've discovered that only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So, if you end up liking this video, kindly consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Sherry's Bizarre Experience at 7 Sherry was born and raised in Wendell, Idaho. However, when her father died in 1948, her mom decided to move her and her siblings to L.A in search of a better life and more opportunities. Sherry never fails to mention that her mother, who was a trained entertainer, taught her and her brothers drama, singing, and dancing when they were still very young and living in LA. However, the unusual experience that completely transformed Sherry's life happened when she was seven years old. On that day, her and her family were on a tour bus in Los Angeles when a strange man suddenly approached Sherry's mother. They were shocked, completely unaware of the man's intentions. The next thing the man did was to tell Sherry's mother his observations. He said all her children should be in movies and that he had no doubt they would all make great actors. The man even went as far as giving Sherry's mother an agent's contact information. Now, even though they were all still shocked by the unexpected event, Sherry's mom took it as a sign and contacted the agent. Soon enough, Sherry started getting opportunities to go for auditions as a child actor. An unusual career beginning. It's clear that most actresses who are considered successful in Hollywood started their acting careers in their 20s or 30s. They always aimed towards attaining the right qualifications and years of experience before going into acting proper. However, that was not the case for our icon here. Sherry's career officially began at the age of seven and even at that young age, she was said to be outstanding as an actress. Even though this isn't very common and really unusual among actresses, Sherry showed that it was possible to not only begin a career that early, but to also possess great acting skills even before the age of 10. Sherry's Uncommon College Decision So if there's one thing that is common among actresses, it is that some of them either start their lives with the realization that they want to be an actress while well, some drop out of college after realizing they want to pursue an acting career. Well, Sherry is one of the few actresses who made a decision early on in life not to pursue college at all. It's rather bizarre because it's not something that a lot of people do, but Sherry said she wasn't interested in the idea of college, so she didn't attend one. Unusually frequent movie appearances at 11. So Sherry kick-started her career at the age of seven with her portrayal of Jane in the 1949 musical comedy, You're My Everything. Her performance was so impressive that she became one of the most sought after child actors in the 1940s. What's even more shocking is that she landed at least 10 roles every single year for the next three years. By the time she clocked 11, she'd appeared in over 30 movies, including a modern drama, For Heaven's Sake, and this woman is dangerous. The number of roles that she was selected for at the time were more than the roles that some actresses perform all through their career. Sherry broke record after record through her entertaining performances. An unpopular view on relationships. Sherry viewed relationships a bit differently than other people. With the success of her career came a lot of friends, acquaintances, and potential suitors. However, Sherry's opinion about relationships determined how she responded to the attention she was getting from men at the time. Sherry believed that there should be no limit to the number of relationships a person should have up until the point where they eventually find the right person. On her quest to find love, she dated over 11 men, beginning with actor Chad Everett in the late 1950s. After the relationship ended, she dated the famous American singer Bobby Rydell, their relationship eventually ending as well, and Sherry went on to date other Hollywood stars like Rod Lauren, Dwayne Hickman, John Rockwell, even the popular singer and actor Elvis Presley. Now, Through all of her relationships, 
She maintained her opinion and was willing to try several other people until she did find her soulmate. Sherry's Odd Career Move At the peak of Sherry's career, she made a movie that was rather unusual for an actor of her caliber. At the time, she had grown to be best friends with one of her colleagues, Gene Hagen, and both of them were known for their tight bond on and off camera, but no one knew that their friendship impacted their professional lives as well. In the early 1950s, they were both cast for roles in the comedy series The Danny Thomas Show. Sherry was given a five-year contract while her best friend was given a three-year contract. So right after Jean's contract expired, Sherry became devastated and wanted to leave the show immediately as well. Her decision was a bit shocking, especially for someone in her line of work. However, the movie director was so understanding that he allocated less work to her to make the experience more bearable for her until her contract expired. Sherry's Nudity on Set Sherry was one of the few actresses in her time who were open to nude roles. She was often applauded for her looks and physique, but she did not let the accolades blind her from her duty to deliver amazing performances. While most actresses hesitated to take on nude roles, Sherry didn't have a problem with appearing nude on TV. In 1967, she was selected to play a nude role in the mystery film Gun, which ended up being released on an international platform. The Unexpected Palimony Suit In 1967, Sherry got into a relationship with American businessman and horse breeder Fletcher Jones. Their relationship lasted for a few years until the unfortunate incident that took his life. On November 7, 1972, Sherry received news that her boyfriend Fletcher was involved in a plane crash that claimed his life. Sherry was beyond devastated, but the next move she made was a bit strange and unexpected. A few months after Fletcher's death, she filed a palimony suit against his estate asking for $5.8 million. She claimed that he had promised to give her at least $25,000 a month for the rest of her life. Unfortunately, she lost the case. Sherry's Private Life One thing that is common among most celebrities is their desire to keep their personal lives private. However, Sherry was not one to keep her private life to herself. She openly spoke about every relationship she got into and whatever project she was pursuing at various points in her life. Now, it's rather strange considering how much movie stars do try to keep their private business off the media. The Challenging Role Sherry Jackson has publicly admitted that she hated the filming process of some of the roles that she was given. Most movie stars are not known to open up about the challenges of the filming processes in movies. However, Sherry mentioned that there was one movie that she hated acting in. She said she really dreaded the process of filming the movie The Miniskirt Mob because it was shot in a dangerous city in Arizona. She revealed that she felt like her life was in danger at the time and she had to restrict activities that she would have loved to partake in. Sherry's Death Rumors Well, Sherry is currently 80 years old and has recently made a decision to live her life in private. There's been no news about her family, but it appears that she is single and has no children. Even though several rumors have circulated that she's dead, the movie star is still very much alive and well. So which of these facts about Sherry Jackson caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.